Hello, everybody. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. This is our Wednesday night Facebook Live. Joining me in the conversation. Greetings, greetings, Hello, greetings. Everybody. Like, love, and share. Come on, tag and uh, share the broadcast on tonight because I'm excited. We have another great topic. <laughs> Woo! Yes, yes, yes. Like, love, and share. Good evening, Apostle Mother Atkerson. Love you. I see you, Taquana. Ah, glad to have you home. Like, love, and share. We got a great topic. I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm ready for the conversation. I'm ready for the dialogue. I'm ready to uh, hear what you got to say because I know I know we all can relate to this conversation. I know we all can relate to this topic. So I'm looking forward to the conversation tonight. Did you all share this while I'm talking? Did you all share this with some on your page? Did you all tag somebody? Can you all tag like five people before we get started? Can you just tag somebody and say, we got the conversation going. Join the conversation tonight. Because this is going to be something that I need you all to come on in and let's talk. Greetings. I love you. I love, yes, I did. I made it public. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Nicole, good to see you. Are you ready? I need you all to get somewhere and get, get to the place where we can we can talk, we can dialogue because tonight we have an awesome uh, topic that I just feel like, Rita, good to see you. Rita Walton, good to see you. I just feel like that we all can collaborate with the conversation. You know, we all can can. can Look, I got tongue tied. Collaborate right there, McCray. Good to see you. Love you tonight. I wanna, I wanna bring the conversation in. I wanna talk to you. Can we, can we dialogue tonight? I wanna talk to you about when favor, when favor is attractive. Can y'all, can y'all, when favor is attractive? Uh, what, 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 what's favor? What was favor? I, I, um, I, I looked that up, Apostle, and it, it talked about when uh, favor being, uh, uh, the definition of it is when it's an approval, you know, uh, a support. It's like a liking to someone. And so I, I wanted to talk to you all tonight about favor because I, I'm, I'm looking at favor. Favor to me can be attractive. But I also realized, too, that favor can also bring a tax because people can get in their feelings when they find that you got favor on your life. But favor in its various forms is, is undoubtedly uh, an attractive quality. Uh-huh. I see your tag in Elijah. When someone is favored, they receive like positive attention. You know, they, everybody calling their name. Everybody's acknowledging them. Everybody's letting them know that this person here may have received something or God has favored them. They have opportunities. They even have blessings set uh, 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 before them. Christina, good to see you. Elder Tank, good to see you. So so the, the favor, it, it can be seen in different aspects of our life. Uh, sometimes you can be favored with uh, with a wonderful relationship. You know, sometimes we be sitting looking at folks be on Facebook holding hands with a significant person and they taking pictures and they all booed up taking pictures. We here and you know, they got holding hands and they hugging and kissing. Good to see you, Karen. Uh, uh, and people, uh, Mother Vivian, good to see you. People uh, can get feel some kind of way when you have a career, when you, you've you been elevated on your job, job opportunities, even spiritually. When uh, there's a call up on your life and people calling you and, and people see your name on every flyer people you know sometimes people can celebrate you but that on the flip side people can be sitting looking at you wondering how did you get the favor wondering why was it you why were you the one favor because they look at you like what is it that you had so great that they didn't have that they feel like they couldn't be blessed with favor but people put, put uh possess favor they they often draw attention to, with from others and you know what? When you got favor on your life, it's like it's effortless. You know, when you can tell when a person has favor, they stand out. 
they stand out in the crowd. You know, they they have their aura about them. They just uh, people are uh, they're like magnets. Uh, Chantel, people are drawn to them. When you have the favor of God upon you, it's like a natural ability to engage. You know, you don't mind talking. You don't mind engaging with people. You just have that tenacity when the favor of God is upon you. When you favor you know, uh, and I hate to say this too, but sometimes as, as parents, you got that favorite, you, you favor certain ones, you know, you got a certain child that you try not to show that attention to. I got a girl and boy and three boys, uh, Sarah Wright, good, uh, supervisor, good to see, but sometimes we can show, uh, we can favor one more than the other. And, and then sometimes that can, that may be okay for a minute, but people, they'll begin to look at that like, well, why you favor her or why you favor him more than you favor me? Mm? You know, do I have somebody that can say, I can low key say I favor, yeah, they people say, I, you know, my girl is the one I kind of favor right now. I, I, I favor Ariana a little bit more because she the youngest. I said, well, she young, you know, she can, she can receive a little bit more of the favor, but favor is often associated with God's blessing and grace and people all of us want to be blessed by god people we always want to receive the blessings of god because the bible tells the blessings of the lord what make it rich and added no so we all want that nobody ross don't want to uh be um uh um uh, in a place where we're doom and gloom and nobody's receiving the blessings. But through through the Bible we find instances where uh different ones in the Bible was favored can can you uh, uh just sit for a minute and just really can you go to somebody in the bible i can i can give you somebody a uh, uh, joseph hmm? let's talk about joseph joseph was favored joseph was favored uh uh, uh with from, with his father but joseph's favor caused his brothers to turn against him now, how many of you all know that you can have some folk in your life that can be jealous of you because the favor of God is upon your life? Sometimes the favor that you possess will cause people to want to attack you. See, the favor of God is attractive, but it also brings attack if you're not careful. People was, and you know what? You ain't have to do nothing. You can just be a simple, you can just be living. You can just be minding your own business. But people will find a way to come against you because God favored you. And it is not the ones in the streets. It's not nobody far, but it's those that's close to you, that's applauding you. Those that are close and you say, girl, you go, bro, I got you, dapping you up. It's those very individuals that, you know, you can, one minute you sitting here and you cool with the fact among people, but the minute you turn around, you got a dagger stacking me in the back. Are you, you trying to set me up to bring me down because God is favoring me. This is why when you favor, you got to have discernment to know who you can Really tell your blessings to because everybody's not celebrating you because if you can't celebrate me if you can't be with me when i'm low you can't celebrate me when god is elevating me either that's why i, I don't like it when people don't want to be with me when you when you struggling when i can't rub two nickels together when times are hard when money is funny and change is strange and now you want to come when i'm sitting on top of the world no no, 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 no. Because now you're making me look at you because now are you really with me for, for what I have? Are you really with me? Because favor sometimes open up doors. It'll open up doors. That, uh, people get jealous. They want to walk in the same door with you. People, Pastor Moses, people want to walk in the doors that you're walking in. Because now you not paid the price. Because see, sometimes when you are favored, they don't know what you had to go to through to go through to endure. Because Joseph had to endure some things. People don't always know. They see the glory, but they don't know the story. People look at you now, but they don't know where you come from. And that's why you got, you got to be careful and say, I wish that was me. Bishop Eli Jacob, God bless you, sir. Good to have you on. What a blessing to have you. You got to be careful with those. You, you want to covenant and feel some kind of way because you don't know. You don't know what that person had to go through. You don't know the ups and downs. You don't know the crying. You don't know the, the sacrifices. You don't know how a bank account's been in the negative. You don't know when they had to borrow some things just to survive. We know how to put the game face on to make it look good but you don't know that so i'm telling you when so, whoo, i'm telling you when favor is attractive i'm telling you people come out of the woodwork she'll be like where you come from 
Where you come from? How, where were you when I needed you? Where were you when I was struggling? Where were you when I was down and out? Where were you? And it bothers me for folks want to call you sis then. Hey, sis, sis, hey, bro. Oh, now I'm sis. <laughs> now you want to call me, bro. Now, now we home. Oh, I remember her. We used to. Now, I don't want to hear it back then. I'm talking about now. Did you ride with me now? Did you, was you there with me now, Bishop Eli Jacob? Was it, were they with me now? Because I'm looking at the now. I'm looking at how I'm rolling now. Are you with me now? Because people can get jealous. I don't care if it's a sibling. I don't care if it's a best friend. People, listen, right. When your enemies show you who they are, you better watch them. You better know who they are because people, your enemies will show up when favor arrive. Your enemies, you want to you wanna see how many enemies you have? Get elevated. You want to see how en many enemies you have? Get elevated. <laughs> you go to uh, broadcasting, you opening up a business. You go to broadcasting your ministry and watch the enemies come out of the woodwork. You be like, and then they go to talking. Child, you remember they used to, you know they said, you know. Instead of us is celebrating, we'd rather find some, some fault in them to bring them down because we don't want them to have the favor of God. Y'all know Cain and Abel. Y'all know the story. Y'all know people, people don't want you to uh, be blessed. Hey, he, 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 uh, his, his, his Abel's uh, offering blessed, pleased God. But Cain, he got jealous. And he wanted to consume Cain's blessing and favor. Jealousy. People become jealous when the favor of God is upon your life. Huh? Am I talking to anybody? I ain't studying it. Uh, Rita Walker said I ain't studying him. You, 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 you got to, you got to learn how to have a uh, tunnel vision. Because if you paying any attention to the comments, that's why eagles can't look down. Eagles can't focus on what the chickens got to say. Because as overseer Corey said, and he will prepare tables before me in the presence of my own inner. I'm telling you, he's preparing tables. That's where the favor of God and that's why when you stay the course, when you stay, you keep running this race, when you keep focused and you keep trying, you know what, even in the midst of me trying, I know I'm going to you know, have some ups and downs, I have some bloopers, but guess what, you better shake the dust off and keep going, you better shake yourself off and keep moving. Because I ain't got time to wall in the wall is me, because God don't move on pity, he'll move on praise. And it's something about the more we, when we begin to give God praise, it's like that begin to open more doors. I hear them say when the praises go up, blessings come down. When you begin to praise God, even when you're celebrating others, when you begin to praise God, I, I know it's hard to praise God when we're going through. But when you learn how to praise God in the midst of what you're dealing with, you, you allow, you give God access to come in and move. Because now you, when you praise, it's like you making yourself vulnerable to his will. God, I'm, I'm praising you in the midst of my storm. I'm praising you in the midst of what I'm going through. Latoya, good to see you. He, that's right. She said he don't move on pity, but he'll move on praise. You want to you wanna ignite your favor? Baby, I tell you, begin to give God praise. You got to ignite the favor of God upon your life. I don't care who come to try to try to suffocate it and try to sabotage, baby. They can't do no more than you allow them. Because my Bible said greater is he. All right. Now, don't get me stirred tonight. Because I listen here, lady, Chandler, I'm telling you, you got you can have the faith when you begin to open your mouth and possess his word, speak his word over your life. It may not, you may not see it now, but baby, it's getting ready to be your time for your, the favor of God to ignite upon your life. And, and people are going to celebrate you. You don't have to, you don't have to diminish your character to, to, to bring and bring somebody else down. Just because somebody's being blessed today, you don't have to diminish yourself because you want to praise up. You, you, you mad because they're being blessed. Celebrate them because my time is on the way. Mine's on the way. Mine's on the way. 
I'm telling you, I get excited when I see God's people being blessed. Mine's on the way. Yes, Lord. Nicole, mine's on the way. Yes, God. Because if he can do it for you, mine's on the way. I tell you, I feel like giving God a praise right now because when you know mine's on the way, listen, I'm preparing myself for the favor of God. I'm preparing, I'm, I'm decluttering, I'm eliminating some things, I'm eliminating to, to be uh to be exalted, I'm eliminating some things for God to use me because mine is on the way. I'm making I'm making room for favor. I'm making room. I'm making room for favor tonight. Cynthia, I'm making room for favor tonight. I'm not going to sit here and be mad. I'm not going to sit here and worry about who, who got this and who that. Listen, the, I'm making room for the favor of God. I'm making room for what God has for me. I'm going to give him a dance and a, a praise in advance because mine is on the way. What that 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 uh, that lady and I don't know. I heard a, a wonderful minister, a pastor, talking about this today. Kathy Warren, and she talked about uh, the 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 uh, the manager, the football player. How uh, she spoke something uh, so profound, and she talked about uncommon favor. And I seen this uh, beautiful pastor in Charlotte. She was shouting and giving God praise because she had a blessing. Listen, we can give God an in advance praise because the un we are in a place of uncommon favor. And you know, uncommon favor is like a domino effect, baby. I, Rod said, I'm cleaning my pocketbook for favor. I'm cleaning it out. Listen, I'm moving every, oh, I, I, whatever it is. I said, God, every hindrance, every setback, whatever it is, God, I need you to remove it so I can receive all that you have for me. And I'm not just sitting still. See, you've got to be active. You've got to participate in your blessing. I felt that thing. You've got to participate. You've got to show up. You've got to give God something to work with. See, when you actively participate in life and believing that God is going to do what he said, you got to participate in his word. Oh, I need somebody to put that in the chat. You need to put, participate in God, with God's word. You got to participate. You can't just expect his word to move and you ain't doing nothing. You can't expect his word to flourish and you ain't doing a closed mouth. Don't get fed. You got to speak this word. You got to put it in the atmosphere. Listen, I'm charging, I'm charging everyone. When I get up, I'm, I'm commanding my day. Are you commanding your day? Are you participating? What are you doing when you get up? I participated. Put, listen, you're blessing me in these comments tonight. You're blessing me because I got to participate. Why am I tongue-tied tonight? I got to participate. Huh? Participate in God's word. I'm actively participating. Because I'm not going to be left behind. <laughs> I'm not going to be left behind and not having what God said I'm going to have. He promised me some things and I'm going to actively participate. Because I just believe that the more we actively participate, the doors begin to swing open for us. Opportunities begin to swing open. Relationship, there's a breakthrough waiting for us when we actively participate. Paula Smith, when we actively participate in God's word, let me tell you, the doors will begin to swing open. And, 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 and the favor of God will be in the atmosphere on your behalf and, you, and, and your dreams will no longer be deferred. No, your, your, your things that you put before God will no longer be deferred. Things will begin to sprout. Things will begin to flow in your life when you actively participate, when you're trusting God, when you're focused on him. This is why I'm telling you, you got to be with those, put those blinders on them horses when they racing. You got to participate. You got to be so focused and not caught off guard because jealousy people are so jealous it'll cause you to be distracted because you sitting there saying now why are you jealous these distractions will hold you up i ain't got time to sit here and try to babysit you why are you jealous now what I, I i'm trying to go somewhere you can do the same thing if you just get up
Okay. Nicole, he don't, God don't have no prospective person to bless. He just want us to get up. Because I just believe, as the woman that said that, she said, I'm coming favor, baby. My favor is attractive. Baby, and I'm attracting wealth. I'm attracting opportunities. I'm attracting uh, uh, great doors. I'm attracting the overflow. I'm attracting things in advance. Why? Because I, the favor of God, rest in, in a rule and abide within me. So, baby, I'm attractive. But I, told, I asked God to put a hedge around me. Don't let folk around me that don't mean me no good. You know, show me who's for me. Because I realized being a, a, a attracted, being favored, it brings a tax. All right. I don't hear the church tonight. Y'all ain't saying nothing tonight. Gilbert, y'all ain't saying nothing tonight. My favor is attracting. What is your favor attracting? My favor is attracting purpose. Yeah. My favor is attracting my destiny. My favor is attracting the things of God. My favor is attracting. The, the, it's, it's, bring, it's, 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 it's luring in the presence of God. Woo. Why? Because when you walk in obedience, Rita, when you walk in obedience, people will wonder how did you get where you are? How did this happen? When you walk in obedience, baby, the good of the land, we're going to eat. Because I'm going to eat when those in the White House don't eat. I'm going to eat real good. Okay. Okay. I'm going to eat real good. Right? Do I, I, I need to see some comments. I'm going to eat real good because I'm a tra favor is attracted on me. Come on, somebody. You got you to gotta proclaim that. You got to speak that I'm favored. My steps are ordered. My path is illuminated. The favor of God surrounds me like a shield. Huh? You know what? You are not forgotten. Can I tell you that? You are not forgotten. God has not forgotten you. I am favored. The shield of God, the favor of God, it protects me. It covers me. It won't allow nothing to infiltrate that ain't God. I, I'm, she said, I'm about to run. I, I'm telling you, you got to tell yourself that I, I'm favored. Bernard White, I'm favored. I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I'm trusting God because I'm walking in the path. I'm walking in his way. I'm walking in his will. I am not forgotten. I'm talking to somebody tonight. I'm not forgotten. I'm not forgotten. And why? Because I'm chosen. And I want to tell you this, we, we, it's no more delays for us. No more delays, Apostle Crawford, no more delays for us. Because we're in a place now, that woman said, the uncommon favor, listen, that thing went global, that thing went viral. And you better grab hold to that. This is a season of uncommon favor, baby. I'm not going to be left behind. I am not forgotten. I'm not an outcast. I'm not set aside. I, I have the favor of God upon my life. Hmm. Because the Bible tells us. Yeah, yeah. When we make him a priority and connect with him in prayer, listen, when we seek in God's favor and over him and any no one, one else's favor, when we seek in the favor of God and his favor, Timothy, God got to come to our rescue. God will bless us. I'm not worried about uh, uh, what people say. You know, I, yes, we want people to be pleased. Uh, Prophet is to me, uh, Natasha over there in Israel. I love you so much. Now, you know what? I am a little jealous that she's over there in Israel. Take plenty of pictures, girl. I love you so very much. Safe travel to you. I, I'm telling you, we, uh, 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 Timothy, uh, we we have to understand who we are. We, when it's our season to be blessed, we know we have to learn how to even bless others and, you know, tell of his goodness. I, I, I said this last week. Sometimes we're afraid to tell people of our testimony. Sometimes it ain't the right time for you to say. But when God is blessed and that thing has been solidified and you God has already made the way, then that's when you can tell God people uh, of the blessing that God has blessed you and what God has done. Sometimes time you speak too soon and people will kill your blessing before it get there 
That's why you got to be careful what you say. You got to wait on some things. It ain't always uh, uh, your, uh, the right timing to tell people everything. That's why we got to have discernment and use wisdom, when to speak, when not to speak. Jennifer, you better say that. You better know because I'm telling you, we we are really in, in, in a place that we, it's like, you know, we, 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 we really got to really trust God. Uh, uh, where we are and where we're going and what we're doing because we know that there, there is a shifting that's taking place and I realize that there's a shifting that's taking place in the earth realm but even though there's a shift and God is still favoring his people and this is why it is so urgent that God said for us to really walk in, in obedience and we can't waver in this this is not a place for us and time for us to waver in our faith God wants us to really contend with the promises and contend with his word and contend Intend in faith when you walk it and when you speak it listen I, that's, again I said I got an affirmation that I speak over myself because I believe God Latrice I believe God because it's God God is not wanting us to sit down God is ready for you to go forth what is it that God has given you to go forth in Pastor Janice Thompson, I love you. What is it that God wants you to go forth in? What is it that God is wanting you to do? You are favored to, to be able to go do street ministry. You are favored to go out and do certain things. You, you got to move because people are waiting on you to move. You favored in that area. Some of you got favor in the community to do things and to do outreach and to go out and help one another. You are favored in that area. You can't sit on that because that is a ministry within itself. When you can be able to help somebody else, Shaniqua, Lua, Shakira, love you. When you are, have favor that God has favored you with people, whether it's in your community, whether it's in your ministry, whether it's in your family, you got to take what you have and run with it. Because everybody may not have what you have, but you got to take what you have and utilize it to the best of your ability. You got to remember this, that the favor isn't about the material things either. But it's also about walking close with God, knowing his presence and experiencing his goodness in every aspect of your life. You want to learn how to seek his favor above everything else. And when we do that, we'll say, God, that's when we can really say, God, not my will, but let your will be done. Yeah. When you can say, God, not my will, but I want your will to be done. That's when you're seeking his favor. That's when you want to be pleasing before him. That's when you want to know, God, what is it you want me to do? That's when you know that, God, you have matured in this place because there have been times that we acted out of character. We acted unseemly because I'm going to go get it and come back with it. But when you matured in your walk with God, you say, God, what is it that you want me to do? What 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 is it that you have for me? Ah, uh, you let me tell you. When you're in an uncommon favor season, baby, you gotta walk in hum. You gotta walk in humility. My God, we gotta walk with some humility because we gotta show the world that God is still God. Why don't you be a representation of God's word? Why don't you be the representation that God is still a, a healer? Why don't you be the representation that God is still a rewarder to the seekers? My question is, where are the seekers? Because he's still rewarding, but where are the seekers? Where are the seekers for the favor of God, his favor? Where are the seekers that's looking for Jesus to bless them and not to be exalted by man? Because man will bless you now. And he'll tell you that in the same conversation. Where are those that are seeking God for his favor? Favor is attractive. And we got to have humility with the favor of God that God is blessing us with. It's not for us to walk around halting. It's not for us to walk around and try to bring somebody else down. It's not for us to try to look down upon nobody. No. But the favor of God is for us to show this dying world that God is still God. And that God is still good. God is still merciful. 
And God is still blessing because people, let me tell you, people are looking for something different. People are looking for more. People are looking for more. They're looking for something uh, 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 that's they have some substance. They're looking for something solid. They're looking for something real. And so I feel like it, we are, should be the ones to say, you know what? I'm going to be the one to show them that God is a rewarder. I'm going to show them that living this life for real, this is what God does. This is how God blesses when we're really walking up right before him. That I don't have to compromise. I ain't got to lie. A bishop, apostle, uh, Tory Phillips, God bless you. We don't have to lie. We don't have to cheat for the favor of God. Because when you really walking up right before God, you will show the world that God is still a rewarder. Wouldn't it be something to know that I'm, I'm living this life to know, to let them know that God is still a rewarder? That God is still blessing. Why, why is it that we won't show the world that when we trust him and we lean not to our own understanding, when we really trust God's plan, hallelujah, when we really trust the hand of God, when we say, God, I'm not moving until you give me a direction, until you bless me. God, I really want to, I want to see the favor of God upon my life. That God can use you to be a vessel. Yes, Lord. He, when he can use you to be a vessel to bring in soul to say, look what God is doing. God loves you. Some of you are in favor to go out and do a street ministry and pull those in that don't look like the church folks. You have the, that favor to go and the tenacity to get on the streets, get in the cut and bring them in. Because people are watching your life. I say that all the time. When our lifestyles can preach, you ain't got to say nothing because your lifestyle should draw them in. Sharice, I'm telling you, our lifestyle should draw them in that people want the favor of God. They want what you have. They ought to uh, want to emulate what you have. They ought to see what you have, that people are being tired. And so people are looking for something authentic. Can your lifestyle be so authentic that it draw them in and it says something different about you? When the favor of God is up on your life and there's something about you and you have what it takes to bring God's people in. And you have what it takes, Tracy, love you, to, to, to turn their life around. Say, if God can do it for me, he can do it for you. Well, we don't look down upon nobody because they may not be in the place that they need to be. Because there used to be a time when we wasn't. But somebody prayed for us. The favor of God can be attractive, but we have to use it in a way that we can bring the world in. Favor can be attractive, but we have to be mindful with and walk with humility with it. The favor of God, because I, I, I feel as though we have enough jealousy. I, I, I looked at so many in the bible that i would just as i was sitting here studying i was like it was so many in the bible that had examples of of jealousy i looked at how saul uh, uh was king and uh king first of israel and he he became jealous of david's success because god favored him upon more than him more than saul saul's jealousy led to animosity and saul attempted to hurt david how long must we continue the same cycle? I can. I don't want to hurt my brother because God is blessing you. I'm gonna celebrate you, and I'm. And we shouldn't even hold or hold on to grudges uh, 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 because somebody is blessed. Because let me tell you, when you hold on to grudges, all you're doing is holding yourself down. You want to stay in bondage? You keep holding those grudges. You want to stay in you 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 want to stay in that place. You keep holding those grudges. You keep holding unforgiveness. But let me tell you, as for me, I choose to let go, free my heart, and create a space for my wealth. I'm creating a space for my wealth. 
Because I know, again, as I said, mine is on the way. I don't have time to be jealous. I don't have time to have the animosity because I don't want that iniquity, that hidden sin, the things that we're dealing with. We got to be careful because some of us have that iniquity. We're holding things in our heart that God is not pleased with us. And we're wondering why we haven't, we're sick. We're wondering why we can't breathe. We're wondering why we're struggling because it's some things we are harboring, we're holding in our heart because we got to release that thing. For the favor to flow, Allison, in our life, for God to bless us, for the for us to really see the miracle signs and wonders. I'm creating a space for my wealth. Listen, woo, baby. I'm not. I don't. I don't want to be. I'm not holding you. I'm not mad. I'm not holding no grudges. Mm mm. Cause I, I'm creating my own space. And I'm going to celebrate other success without diminishing my own worth. Woo! I felt that. I'm going to celebrate others without diminishing my own worth. I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing that. But we are, being, we are favored. We are moving. I'm about to take some laps too. Listen, <laughs> I'm about to take some laps myself, but I, I, I just, I wanted to really, I just, this topic really just blessed me today because the favor of God is up on us today. And, and I want you to know this. I don't want you to fear another giant. Because I want you to use that giant of fear, those giants of setback, those giants of disappointment, those giants of distraction. And I want you to let them be the bread that feeds you on your journey. Let me say that again. We done fearing these giants. These giants of negativity, we, these giants that want to hold us back, these giants of fear and, 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 and distraction and, and low self-esteem, these, this, the, these giants that negativity things getting in our, these voices. Listen, uh-uh. I want you to take every distraction and matter of fact, write them down. And I want you to let that be the bread that feeds you to you in your journey. And I want you to feed up and take it and, and chew on it because you killing that, that thing you're going to feed on it and it's going to give you life. We're going to turn it around. Instead of it being a giant, you're going to bring them giants down because everything that the enemy said, we're going to use it and thrive off of it. We're going to be successful in our journey. Mm. Listen, if the Lord split, uh, split the Red Sea for them to move, we moving on dry land. Baby, we ain't drowning in this season. The favor of God is upon our life that we not drowning in this season because God is moving some things out of the way. If he did it back then, he can do it today. He's moving everything out of the way because we walking on dry land. We walking into our new season. We walking into the favor of God. We walking into our increase. We walking into our overflow. We walking into our promotion. We walking into our destiny. We walking with purpose. We're walking in purpose and we're walking on purpose. We walking this thing out. I'm telling you, those walls are crumbling today because we got the shout of victory that's vibrating through our generation. When you shout, it's going to vibrate through your generation and it's going to come down the, off of your children. It's going to come down off of your children's children. It's coming down because we shouted that we got the victory today. It's coming down. I'm walking in purpose. I'm walking on purpose. I'm walking through purpose because God favors me. I'm walking in victory because my favor is attracted. I'm attracting favor. I'm attracting victory. My God, you better receive it. Tell somebody I receive it tonight. I receive the mantle of favor. It's woven into me. It's threaded into me. Yes, it's threaded in with the promises of God. My cup getting ready to run it over. Because, baby, we getting ready to eat. The table is set. The king has invited you to dinner. 
it's time to feast. The king said, come and eat. The king said, dinner is ready. Charles, your dinner is ready. Tracy, your dinner is ready. Nicole, your dinner is ready. Jennifer, your dinner is ready. Cynthia, your dinner is ready. Because huh? I have the favor of God upon my life. Yes. I'm telling you, it's attractive tonight. I, Latrice, you better receive it. Tracy, you better receive it tonight. I'm ready. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to receive what God has for me. Woo! This is your season of, of, of overflow. No, no more hindrance. No more delays. Hmm. That that wilderness, it, it was a it was a it wasn't a wasteland, but it was a training ground. Mm -hmm. It was a training ground. The desert sand polished your faith. <laughs> yes, it polished your faith. And can I tell you that your scars are now like stars? guiding you towards your victory guiding you towards your favor your scars are now stars that are guiding you towards your favor that is guarding you towards your victory that is guarding guarding you toward your destiny is guiding you through it every scar is now become a star in your life baby it's shining bright because it's directing your path to greater it's directing your path to more. My, 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 my. We know we don't have to. We, 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 are, we illuminating. We are attractive today. It looks good on you. You're looking marvelous today. You look great today. Remember the favor of God is upon you. Goodness and mercy shall follow us. I'm telling you, you speak it in every aspect of our life tonight. And so I praise God. I praise him for the victory on tonight. It is time for a, 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 a moment of encouragement. Did anybody share the broadcast tonight? It is time for a moment of encouragement. Can you tell me I shared and I'm going to give a word of encouragement to that person Today is the time for us to give a word of encouragement. Who said I shared? I need to see somebody say I shared the broadcast tonight. I'm waiting to see. I'm going to give you a few minutes. I see. Okay, Rita. Jennifer. All right, Cynthia. Okay. Mm. Mm. I think tonight hmm i think i'm gonna do two tonight <sighs> jennifer war war i love you rita i'm going to do jennifer jennifer tonight your word of encouragement is from psalms 34 and four, it says, delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. I want to speak 
a word of encouragement tonight to you to in the stillness of your soul. I want you to know that while you are entrusting God, I want you to know to be not dismayed that God is blessing you through every trial, through every situation, everything that your heart desire. God says, I'm going to bless your hand. I'm going to bless your life. God said that this journey is going to be a journey of hope for you. God said that this is going to be a journey that's going to manifest divine divine purpose. He said that you have become a vessel for him. And God said that I'm going to bless you even the more in the name of Jesus. God said, when you delight yourself in him, God said, there's no good thing that I will keep from you. God said, the almighty hand of God is up on you. God said, even he's going to whisper in your ears, the sweet nothing. He's going to reveal to you, even the more to you, he, you concerning your life, concerning the things of God. He's going to show you even the more of him, even through prayer. I I hear the Lord saying that I want you to get in a place that you're really seeking him even the more in prayer. God said, I'm getting ready to download you. The more you delight yourself, the more that you're seeking him. He said, I'm going to give you that comfort. I'm going to ease your mind. He said, I'm going to put my arms around you and to let you know that you are not alone in this situation. Glory to God. God said to tell you that there is nothing too hard for me. God said to cast his, your cares up on him for he cares for you, Jennifer, in the name of Jesus. God said, there is nothing too hard for me. God said, trust the plan of God. When you delight yourself in him, God said, I'm getting ready to show you my hand. I'm getting ready to bless you. I'm getting ready to show you my will. I'm getting ready to show you my way in the name of Jesus. Dear one, God love you. God said you are close to his heart. God said he has not forgotten and he sees all, even the deep secrets, even the times you have cried. God said, I see all and I know all. God said, I'm getting ready to reveal some things to you real soon. But God said, come on closer. Come closer to me, said the Lord. Get that, that he may download you, that he may speak sweet things into your ear, that he may settle your mind, that he may let you know that I'm God in your life that you don't have to move without hearing God. Don't move in this season until you hear from God because God is getting ready to give you a strategy in your life concerning your next move. Glory to God. I thank God today. I thank I say, Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Glory to God. I feel God tonight. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for divine restoration. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for purpose over your life. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Can we celebrate the favor of God today upon Jennifer? Can we celebrate Jennifer? Can we celebrate? So, yes, God. Can we celebrate her today? Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We praise God. We praise God. We praise God. We celebrate you, Jennifer. We celebrate you today. We celebrate you today. We celebrate you today. Yes, Lord. Can we celebrate her, y'all? Come on, tell her we celebrate you today, Jennifer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We celebrate you today in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We, I feel the presence of God tonight. Glory to God. I think I'm going to do probably one more person tonight that, that shared the, the broadcast on tonight. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me see who else I'm going to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's see here. It's Cynthia. Cynthia. Are you on, Cynthia? Glory to God. Cynthia, are you on today? Amen, Cynthia. Glory to God. I want to give you your word today. And the word of God for you is James 1, verse 17. 
it says for every good gift and for every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the father of lights and with whom is no variableness, neither shadows of turning. I want to speak a word of encouragement over you today that the goodness of God is upon you. Glory to God. As God began to minister this word to you, his, his unwavering light, it, it illuminates you in the name of Jesus. And I want you to know that everything that your hand touched, God is going to bless in the name of Jesus. God said that there shall not be a time that you eat of the bread of sorrow, but that you shall eat the bread of life in the name of Jesus. And God said, everything that I give unto you, he said, I want you to bless, uh, bless others as God give unto you in the name of Jesus. God saying that I needed you to trust him in this hour. There are some things that you have not trust him, but he said, every perfect gift comes from God. Everything that God gives you, it comes from him. God said, I want you to praise me in this time that you are in. God said, praise me. I hear God said, praise me because the more you praise him. God is getting ready to bless. There's been some hard times, Cynthia, but God said, I need you to praise me because when you praise me, he said, I'm releasing some things over your life. He said, I'm releasing blessings from the north, south, east, and west. God said, I need you to praise me where you are. He said, I'm not going to move on those pity moments and when you're hollering, woe is me, but God said, when you begin to give me praise and say, God, I begin to trust you. God, I believe that God, thank you that you have not forgotten me. God said I'm releasing a bountiful blessings. I'm releasing an uncommon favor upon your life, Cynthia. In the name of Jesus, this is the season of overflow for you. This is the season of good source, good things coming your way, pressed down, shaken together, running over. God said, I'm getting ready to cause people to bless you in the name of Jesus. God said, I'm getting ready to bless them. When you begin to speak, God said, you begin to speak of his word. God is using you in this hour to, to be a vessel to speak his word and proclaim it even with those that don't believe and those that have hard times. He said, I need you to trust me to speak a word into others' life because he's using you in this hour to be a vessel in the name of Jesus. As there's a renewed hope for you, God, in the name of Jesus. There's a renewing of hope, a renewing of joy for you in the name of Jesus. Everything God is about to wow you, every good and perfect gift, it comes from God. He's about to wow you. Glory to God. Watch God work in this hour. Glory to God. And we give him praise and we give him glory. It's in Jesus name. Glory to God. We thank him. <clears throat> Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God because I'm favored. We thank God that I'm favored on tonight. I'm favored. My favor is attractive, Pastor Aaron. Our favor is attractive on tonight. We praise him because my favor is attractive on tonight. Glory to God. The favor of God is attractive. Yes, God is attracting the wealth. God is attracting the, the things that's been held up. God, I thank you that my tra favor is unlocking doors. Thank you, Lord. It's unlocking new opportunities. Yes, God. It's unlocking my healing. It's unlocking new avenues. Glory to God. It's unlocking the path for us because we believe in God that there is no failure. In God, there is no failure. There is no failure. There is no failure. And my God shall supply. My God shall do it. I need you to say, my God shall do it. My God shall do it. He will do it. Because I'm walking in obedience and I'm walking in the things of God. I believe God is going to do it. And there are going to be testimonies coming from the fact that you are favored. Be careful who you share your favor with. Everybody don't need to have your favor. Sometimes God, God wants you to praise him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise him for the favor of God. Praise him, Karen. Praise him, God. Thank you, Lord. Praise him. Yes, God. Karen, the Lord is God. I, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Karen, God is getting ready to give you your joy back. Yes, God. 
the favor of God, yes, Lord. The God is getting ready to restore your joy, caring more. Yes, God, I hear the Lord saying that he's not forgotten you. Sometimes you feel like you've overlooked Karen, but God has not overlooked you. He has not forgotten you. Karen, more God is restoring your favor. He's restoring your peace. He's restoring you. He's giving it back to you. He's giving something back to you. It's been taken from you illegally. Something been stolen from you. He said, I'm giving that back to you. And he said, I'm giving it back to you double. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Yes, God. He's giving you double. Yes, God. Double grace. Yes, God. Double peace. Double favor is your portion, Karen. Yes, God. Yes, God. Valencia Pruitt, God bless you. Woo, Lady Chandra, I'm telling you, I feel the favor of God. Yes, Lord. I feel the favor of God tonight. Listen, every Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I want you to join me on the throne room prayer line every Tuesday morning, 6 a.m. Central Standard Time, but 7 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Yes, I hear God. Hallelujah. I hear God. I hear his, I feel his presence tonight. Yes, Lord, I'm on soul. Yeah, I'm on I feel the presence of God tonight. Yes, Lord. Woo, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. We thank him. Yes, God. Yeah, God, I'm favored. The wealth is transferring. I'm favored. Yes, God. God is, yes, God, he's favoring us. Glory to God. Contracts are being written. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Debt cancellation. I'm favored for debt cancellation. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. I'm favored. Yes, God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Yes, God. God bless you, Rita. Yes, under my soul. Yes, my heart. I'm favored. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, I got to get out of here. Yanda Basi, Kanda Baha. I'm favored. Yes, Lord. Yanda Baha. Yanda the old side. I'm favored for wealth, oh God. I'm favored for the more of God. I'm favored for his blessing. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. I feel the favor of God tonight. Do you feel the presence of God tonight? Ah, God has favored us even on this broadcast. That some people may not feel it's nothing, but God is moving. Yes, he is. The favor of God is blessing us tonight. Because when there are two or three gathered in the name of Jesus, he said, I'll be in the midst. And I feel the presence of God. I feel a shaking in the atmosphere. Glory to God. Because when we begin to praise him, yes, sir. The more we praise him, oh God, Mother Willie, God is moving on our behalf. God, when we petition him, Yes, God, God is shifting the atmosphere, God. I feel a groundbreaking anointing tonight. That favor has already gone before us and made the cricket pass straight. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Ha, mind your side. Yeah, God. Ah, yeah. I feel like running in my house tonight because when you realize when you've been favored, I don't care what nobody do. Can't nobody be God being God. Can't nobody be God being God. Yes, God. Ha, yet that about show you. Can't nobody beat him being God. People was someone telling me you gotta be careful of this person, be careful of that person. I said, I'm not worried about nobody because they can't do no more than what I allow them to do. Because I don't believe in all that foolishness. You gotta believe in that stuff for it to affect you. I believe God's word. God is a shield, God is sovereign, and God is my protector. He's my redeemer, and he's the one favoring me tonight. And I'm telling you, a brother minister Lamar Thomas, I'm telling you, I'm favored because healing is upon you tonight in the name of Jesus when you favored yes God even the doctors don't understand how did this happen when you favored by God yes Lord yes Lord Ah, yes, God, yes, God. Uncommon favor. We walking in uncommon favor, God. Glory to God. I, I just need a witness tonight. I just need some believers that said I'm walking in uncommon favor. Yes, God. Uh, amp, you better say 
say it again. Latricia, you better say it again. I need to know that I, you believe in God for uncommon favors, that the, the ground is being shaken. Yes, God, the earth is being shaken. It's going to give me back what I deserve. It's going to give me my inheritance. It's going to give me what I is due to me. Glory to God. The earth will not swallow up my inheritance because God's matter is coming to me uncommon favor yes god i'm walking in this season with uncommon favor yes god that thing going global for the body of christ yes god why because i'm celebrating it and when you celebrating that you we passing it along we passing it we we help us one to another we encouraging each other come on and encourage each other say we all walking in uncommon favor glory to god hallelujah i don't care what they say but i know my god's word i'm walking in his word i'm walking in his will he promised me some things and i'm waiting on god to do it ah yes god all he wants is a faith the size of a mustard seed you got to give him something to work with Yee! you got to give him something to work with yes god we walking in it tonight come on and proclaim it Come on and speak. I'm favored. Prophet is Tamika. I'm favored. You are favored tonight. Your business, Sheer Elegance Boutique is favored. Y'all go and support her. Sheer Elegance is favored on tonight. Glory to God. Yay. We got some business people on this line, but we got people that can preach the word of God. We got people that can pray. See, they don't want the un people that that are that are that don't have many, many influence. But when you got the favor of God, you can outweigh those with the influence when the favor of God is upon your life. My, 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 I'm favored. Glory to God. Yeah, they may look at you now, but baby, take a picture because baby God is moving in our lives. Why? Because I'm favored. I may not have the influence you have, but I got favor of God upon my life. I got the favor of God upon my life. Yes, Lord. They may talk about you, but baby, you got the favor of God upon your life. Yes, Lord. You got the favor of God to go do the exceedingly. You got the favor of God to move in this hour. You got the favor of God that uncommon doors are swinging open. Hallelujah. Yes, God. They better be careful how they handle you. My God. Be careful how you handle me, yes, Lord, because I'm favored. My God favors me, yes, God. He's not going to let you handle me any kind of way because he favors me. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, I'm, I'm walking in this season of it. I'm, I'm not walking with my head down, but I'm walking in the victory of God. I'm walking in more. I'm 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 contending the promises of God. I'm telling you, I'm walking in the I'm looking, I'm expecting. I don't I get up with expectation because I am favored. Now I look in cash apps, I look in bank accounts, I look for text messages, I look, I go to look in my emails, I, I look. Because I not only participate, but I go looking for God to do something. I expect him to move. How? I, say, I don't know how you're going to do it. But I just know he's going to do it. Even when things look like it's dead. When we have given up hope on it. When it's down, when you down to nothing, God is up to something. And I'm telling you tonight, I want us to find the favor and the good success in the sight of God. And man, I want us to be favored. Favored that your life has influence. Your life has influence, Connie. Saints of God, let our life have influence. And we, I told my mother, I said, I want to die empty. I don't want to die with all these woulda, coulda, shouldas. I should have done this. 
I wish I would have done that, but I want to die empty knowing that I did what God told me to do. Because it's a lot of great ideas and a lot of great things in the grave that they died with the person. Don't you be the one that God has favored you. He's favored you to do some things. He's favored you and given you uncommon favor to do some things in the earth realm, but you sitting on it. Don't you leave here with your work undone. Because I said, God, I want to die empty. Whatever it is you have me to do. I want to be the one to die empty. Because I don't want you to favor me with something. And I didn't move. And it's sad to ask God for something. And you're not ready for it. Get yourself ready. Because it's time to go. And it's time to move. And the time is now because the favor of God is attractive on you. You got it, girl. You got it, man of God. Dr. Rainbow, you got it. You are attractive with the favor of God. People are attracted to you. Your voice, Dr. Victoria Rainbow, you got it. It's in your hands. You are attractive. It is time to utilize this. La Chance, La Chandra, you got it. God is, God is not going to allow us to live out this life and he not bless us. Promotion, La, La Chandra, is your portion. You got it. La Chance, I hope I'm saying you, La Chandra, you are attractive with favor and it looks good on you, girl. Rita, it looks good on you. I'm telling you, the favor of God is so attractive on you. I know those patients love to see you coming because it's so attractive on you. And be careful how you handle your favor. Be careful how you wear it too. You know what? You got to carry, when you carry favor, you carry a certain standard. You carry, you possess something. The favor of God is illuminating and it is vibrant and it's alive and well, just like God's word. And I'm not messing this up, not in this season. Yee! The favor of God is so on you. My, 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 my. Dr. Rainbow, be careful. This is how we draw the world. When they see a difference, the favor of God is so attractive. It's inviting on the presence of the Lord. Mother Willie, you have such a beautiful spirit. It's so attractive. It's so attractive. And let us be found guilty utilizing this favor. Get up every day with it. Dress it, make, impress God. Make God proud. Daughters of Zion, men of God, make God proud. I know they pull on you, Rita, because I'll I be praying for you. I pray for your strength. I'm getting ready to get out of here. Those of you all that are in the Jacksonville area, I am doing a brunch. It's called Blooming Beauties Brunch, April the 27th at 11 a.m. I would love for you to be my guest. The flyer's on my page. I need you all to register for that. Tuesday mornings at 7 a.m., anybody can join the prayer line. And let me tell you the throne room, I'm I can say the throne room prayer line is attractive because God approval and not just saying it because it's me, but God meets us. And I believe those on here can testify that God meets us in prayer every week. And so if you're not doing that on Tuesday mornings, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 
or 7 a.m. Central Standard Time every Tuesday morning. The flyer is on my page. Join us. You're going to start traveling? It's time. It's traveling. Read, I see you being a traveling nurse anyway. I don't see you being stuck because you, you, you may get bored easy, but I see you traveling anyway. Get ready. It's time to travel for the job and for natural. It's time for us to travel and, you know, and broaden our horizons. It's time. Listen, I have been on here and I am just super. I've been on here longer than I wanted to be on today, but nevertheless, <laughs> praise the Lord to God be the glory. Well, honey, y'all be blessed. I genuinely love you all. Thank you all so very much for joining the conversation tonight. And let me tell you, I, you know, the Lord gave me this idea. And so I'm just running with it. So uh, I like to bring things, conversation, but you know, we got, we're going to bring the Lord in our conversation. As they say, take the Lord with you everywhere you go. Some of you all remember, um, I used to do tea and talk with my sister. So it's kind of somewhat of a spinoff since my sister stays so busy. So, uh, we're going to go on with the conversation, but y'all know now T and Talk still we still we still will ride now, and T and Talk ain't going nowhere. I don't know when we'll ever do one again, but I love my twin sister. I love you so much, Tracy. You are so attractive. You are so beautifully made, and the favor of God is illuminating on you. And I'm telling you, honey, you gonna soar. And you all, my sister's speaking this Saturday. Trace, I don't know if you had the information. Maybe they can come and join you, those in Dallas that can uh, join you and support you. Hello, Marcella Smith. Thank you. She's sharing the information. Again, um, uh, Trace, if you don't have the information, I don't know if you put the flyer in, on your page. Maybe you could share that and we can support. See, that's what I like to see. Let us support one another. That shows something. That's, that means, I'm telling you, that means so much when we can support one another. And we can really say, and say, don't tell me I'm coming and you don't show up, but really stick to your word. That's what's attractive when you can keep your word. My, 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 my. But I got to get out of here because I've held you all up long enough. But I just want to tell all of you, the favor of God is so beautiful on you and it's attractive. So let's support Tracy Jones. Let's support her this Saturday. If you can go, I'm telling you, she probably fall out on the floor and cry. She ain't nothing but a big cry, baby. If y'all go support her, she probably start crying. I almost start to get on the plane just to come and support her. <laughs> because I love my sissy. That's my sister. All right, we are, I, well, I am out of here. See, I'm acting like twins. I'm talking about we out of here. I am out of here. I appreciate you all. I love you so much. I'll see you all. I think, what y'all think? Should we stick to Wednesday nights? I guess I'll stick to Wednesday nights, I guess. I was trying to do a Wednesday or Thursday, but we'll see. But however, but I would really appreciate the, that if you all would really make a sacrifice and go and support her. Because, you know, she called me and I can tell she nervous. So maybe somebody can go and represent for me. Say, yeah, I got you. I'm your sister that we're going to represent. So if y'all can, let's go support. You like Wednesdays? Okay, we might stick to Wednesdays. But nevertheless, y'all pray for me as I pray for you. Gracious Father, we thank you, Lord, for this broadcast. And I thank you for those under the sound of my voice, those that stayed on. I thank you for the overflow in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you that we are attractive of your word. We are attractive with the favor of God. And now, God, I ask you tonight in the name of Jesus, God, I ask you tonight that you will look up on us. God, shine your light right up on us. God, touch us, heal, deliver, and set free. Oh, God, I thank you for being good to us. Thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy towards us. Great is your mercy, God. We look to you to the hills. We look to you for answers. We look to you for directions, God. And we thank you for favoring us. Thank you for favoring us for opportunities. Thank you for favoring us for promotion. Thank you for favoring us with healing. God, I bless you. And I pray. And Father, I ask you to touch my sister, 
Tracy, as she ministers this Saturday, God, give her a word, God, that's going to bring uh, deliverance to your people, that's going to bring your people to a place that they give you another yes. Father, we praise you and we give you glory for all that are under the sound of my voice until we need to meet again on next Tuesday for prayer or next week, Wednesday for the broadcast. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all. I love you.